Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're continuing our series that is going to show you how to move from sales quote to order. And now today we're going to learn how to move from the sales order to the sales shipment, posted sales shipment. So as you uh, probably have seen in one of our other videos, we've discussed the document flow in the sales uh, side of things. And if you haven't, like you can check it up up here. Uh, but we are going to assume that uh, we already have created the order and that we are now ready to ship those goods to our customer. So what are the steps that we need to take? As you can see here, I'm already on the sales order page and I've selected the order that I want to work with. Now, if you don't know how to get to the sales order page, uh, there's different ways, but the easiest one is for sure to go here in the search and type in sales order. You'll see here, you can click on the sales order list page and you'll be presented with the list of all the orders. Uh, you'll see in this case, I've selected this one here already. And when you do that, you'll jump right back to this page right here. Now, we are ready to ship some goods to our customer. Like we've said before, with the sales order, we have the option to ship before we are invoicing. So it is important to decide, first of all, if you want to ship all of them, because we could also be shipping just part of it. For example, let's say that we have in our warehouse, we have our chairs ready to go, uh, but the desk is not completed yet. So uh, what we're going to do here and today, and we're going to see here, move forward with the line here uh, to the right, and we're going to find the column quantity to ship. So as we said, we don't have our table ready. So I'm going to turn that to zero, but we are ready to ship all four of the chairs. So we're going to leave that four there. If uh, say like we had only three available, we could obviously just change this number to three and uh, that will be uh, the number that will be shipped. But in this case, we have all four of the chairs ready. So we're going to leave that four number right there. And we're going to go up here in the menu, in the navigation menu, in the post. And you can see there's different option, but we're going to select just the post today. And boom, like you can see here, now we're presented with this menu. We have a three options. We have the option to just ship. We have the option to invoice or the option to ship and invoice. Now, in this case, we're going to just concentrate on the shipping part. So I'm just going to select the ship part and I'm going to click OK. Now, what's happening behind the scene we see is taking those four chairs that we've decided that we wanted to ship and generating the according documents and making changes to uh, the ledger entries that are sitting below uh, the system. So as you can see here, uh, you will notice that we still have one uh, as a quantity to ship for our table because we haven't shipped that yet. But you can see here that the quantity shipped has now changed uh, for our uh, chairs because we have shipped those four. Now we have not invoiced anything yet. So you will see here quantity to invoice is still one and four. Now you might wonder like, okay, we've shipped that, but how, how do we see that? How is it possible to, you know, there's different ways, but uh, the easiest is just to go to the posted sales shipment page. And if we order by the last one, you will notice here, here you go. If you open this, here we have it. We have our posted sale shipment document that as you can see is reflecting that we have shipped the four chairs to our customer, but we have not shipped the desk yet. And you will also notice up here that there's a reference to the order so that the next time we go ahead and actually ship the desk, uh, we will still have that same reference. So it's possible to reference back and know exactly what order we were referring to. So there you have it. This is how you move from the sales order to the posted sales shipment document. Thanks for watching this video from NavSeal. Check out more right here. NavSeal offer assistance and counsel on any existing solution. So if you're in need of assistance, don't hesitate to contact us on NavSeal.com or LinkedIn. Consider leaving a like and subscribe for more tips, news, and guides to anything Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central.